Jessica McCaskill has pulled off the biggest upset of the year so far. She dethroned the undisputed champ Cecilia Breakhouse with a majority decision to claim all of the boxing belts at women's welterweight. If the matchmakers and Eddie Hearn have their way, McCaskill will next face the winner of the Katie Taylor, Delphine Persone lightweight rematch in what would be an ultra rare battle between two undisputed champions. Should that be Taylor, McCaskill will get a chance at revenge having already lost a decision to the undisputed lightweight champ and the winner will be crowned the number one pound for pound women's boxer. As for the former champ, Breakhouse was going for the great Joe Lewis's record of 25 straight defenses in one division. But with this loss, the 38-year-old might now be hanging up the gloves. If this is my last fight, I can leave women's boxing and say I was a part of this, declared the first lady of boxing. I was a part of taking women's boxing to this level, and that will be my biggest achievement of all. In men's boxing, there's good news for the on-again, off-again lightweight unification bout between the unified champ Vesil Lomachenko and the new IBF champ Teofimo Lopez. The WBA, WBO, and WBC franchise champ Lomachenko has reportedly relinquished a portion of his purse to satisfy Lopez's demands for more money after Lopez and his team refused the initial offer from top rank. Loma versus Lopez for three of the four major lightweight titles is set to go down at an unnamed location and aired on ESPN this October 17. Former Unified Heavyweight Champ Andy Ruiz Jr. looks almost set for his return to the ring. He's reportedly agreed in principle to facing the three-time title challenger Chris Areola sometime in late 2020. A regular at the top of the heavyweight food chain for the last decade, Ariola has challenged both Vitaly Klitschko and Deontay Wilder for a piece of the championship pie. And he also fought for Maine Stiverne for the vacant title as well. Ruiz rocked the boxing world in 2019, beating the unified champ Anthony Joshua, only to lose the title six months later in the rematch. This will be Ruiz's first fight since then. To MMA, where the UFC light heavyweight champ and longtime pound for pound number one John Jones has vacated the light heavyweight title. Just got off the phone with the UFC, he announced on Twitter. Today, I confirm that I'm vacating the light heavyweight championship. It's officially up for grabs. Aside from when he was stripped of the title due to out of cage activities, Jones has ruled over the light heavyweight division since first claiming the belt in 2011. In more recent times, however, Jones has repeatedly stated his intentions on moving to heavyweight, so long as he is financially compensated. It now looks as though that is exactly what's happening. Just had a really positive conversation with the UFC, followed up Bones. Sounds like there will be negotiations for my next fight at heavyweight. All good news, the weight gaining process begins. And UFC lightweight champion Habib Nurmagomedov admits that he doesn't know how the loss of his father will affect his preparations for his upcoming defense against the interim champ, Justin Gagey. We had a very close relationship. Of course, I worry very much. And if I told you with a stone face that nothing is affecting my concentration, that would be a lie. I think about him. I don't know. Maybe these feelings will take me to another level and make me stronger. Any trials either break us or make us stronger. We will see with time what will come out of this. Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov, who recently passed away due to COVID-19 complications, had been the Dagestani superstar's primary trainer and hero since Khabib was a child. And to the one championship, Samapet Fertex has become the first fighter to progress to the bantamweight Muay Thai tournament finale. He scored a hard-fought majority decision win over Rodlik PK Senshai Muay Thai Gym. The Fairtex fighter looked sharp from the opening frame, 
delivering beautiful combinations, clever counters, and powerful shots. While Rodlak had his moments and for the most part gave as good as he got, by the final bell, it was Vertex who had convinced two of the judges that he was the victor. Also on the card, Mehdi Zatut produced a dominant kickboxing performance in the co-main event, outstriking Leo Pinto across the board to claim a decisive unanimous decision. And in the big MMA bout of the night, Akihiro Fujisawa surprised Muay Thai specialist Pangsiri Mitsutit by beating him at his own game. After delivering him a thrashing, Fujisawa crushed the smiling assassin with a brutal leg-crumbling counter to the chin that finished the fight. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.